At Growth Mode, we have a lot of clients that have done buyer personas. And they're going to say, well, what's the difference between this buyer persona that we have and this ideal customer profile? That's a really good question, Jenny. And I think this comes up in almost every new project that we kick off where we talk through, you know, have you identified your ideal customer profile and people come back with that or kind of a, a mesh between the two. It's really important to realize that the ideal customer profile is focused on the company. Your buyer persona is more focused within that company. Who's the individual buyer or that profile of person within the company who is going to be, you know, making the decision or influencing the decision. The buyer persona is looking more so at focusing on the person again and not the company. So I think that's something that a lot of times people don't realize the difference, but there is a there's definitely a fine line between the two and we find this conversation really comes up a lot at the beginning of projects. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, and, and both of them are important and play a role in how you use them and what you do with that data. But really, it's like, think about it at a really high level. The ideal customer profile, that's about the type of companies that you're targeting and you're trying to attract. The buyer persona, those are the individuals within those companies and how they think and operate, you know, and, and how do you work through the sales process with them? So one comes into play further down the road, that buyer persona versus the ideal customer profile, where that's the defining point. You got to find those companies before you worry about the individual buyer that's in there. And that sounds like that's why your ideal customer profile is so important to identify at the beginning of your process. <laughs> 